bomb. Look at that. That is amazing. Bam. Three shots and it's down. It took four shots before the... Oh, no! Look at that. No way! Hey, guys, and welcome back to more Darkness Falls. This is the new series we started a couple of days ago. So this is, I think, should be episode three or something like that. But anyway, if you watch episode one, um, I'm going over why we are restarting. So since the last episode um, where we did our first quest, um, uh, just minor things I've done. I've spent a point in scrap tool crafting so we can get the next level of tools and i spent one point on minor 69er just so we can get more resources i still have a point left um, we did find the forge recipe in the last episode so we're gonna be working towards that so today the aim would be to get the forge to go do the bury the burial quest and i'm not really sure if i want to do the other quest quest because i have a feeling that it also will be in the snow biome here um I think, but we, we got to do this first and we explore the area here a little bit first as we go down for the treasure just to see what's close by because it would be nice to find an area that we could start looking at um, as a kind of a basic loot base. What I mean by that is like just make cheesy walls so the zombies can't get in and can't destroy it and we're just going to use it to, you know, hunker down and put, oh, put all our resources in there and that's it. Hello there, my good friend. Oh. You see, that's what happens. I can't aim, so you're pretty safe in my, in my hands. Okay, I think he actually bled out because right click does ca it can apply a bleed effect. There's a lot of NPCs around here. That is awesome. So I should be actually pretty safe. So I'm just um, collecting a couple of resources. So one of the things that I also want to do is I want to craft a rain bell. Now, in this game, there is actually a hole. And thank you again for the comments for that. That allows us to, um, I think, till the dirt still. So we don't need necessarily like a farming plot or something, but that needs to be unlocked through um, basics of farming or something. Basics of farming, and I need to be level five for that. Player level five is a requirement. So I don't know which level actually unlocks it. So let me just see again, look at it. Basic farming tips, and this is the snare chicken coops, aloe seed. So which one unlocks the hole? There, scrap hole. So if we go level one, that would be great. So I'm going to keep the point right now that I have um, because it's only one more level and then we're level five. And at level five, we should be able to do a few things actually because one of the other things that we found was a bike book for dumb sheds. And I think that will allow us to do these guys here because we did find that as far as I remember. Bicycles for dumb sheds. So... We should be able to craft these in the workbench, but because we're not level five yet, I think that's why it's still locked because you have to be minimum level five. So I'm gathering gather a couple of resources. Also guys, if you could let me know in the comments below what you would kind of uh, like to see in the um, sense of not progression, but base progression, kind of. Like, what I had in mind was like that. I don't want to make this Let's Play series about Horde Knights and Zombies. Like, the same thing over and over again, just to see how can we defend ourselves. Build, like, loads of turrets and boom, 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 and make that the main focus of the game. I know Horde Knight is a thing, but I was thinking that... Um, the reason I lowered the difficulty is because I don't want the hordes to be taking up so much time that we can't actually investigate, or not investigate is not the right word, but um, look at the mod in full detail. Like, Darkness Falls is about a lot more than just hordes and horde knights. It's a lot about um, certain special things, like these classes, obviously, but it also has, I think, a technology tree. This one here, which I actually can't learn, I believe, the class of. You have to find certain things, yeah? And there's things like demon gates in here as well. So you actually have... Uh, is it magic? No, where's the demon gates? There. Oh, that's demolition expert. There's, anyway, there is other things in here which um, then allow you to, I think, use very special um, weapons and very special bullets. So you need to find bunkers that you need cards for. So there's a lot to investigate and a lot to loot in this uh, game to allow you access to, to get access to all the better items and better things. And I want to kind of put the focus on that in this episode. Hence, I'm looking at farming right now as the rain catcher. I want to progress as best as I possibly can with the actual game mode itself and not just continuously be hung up on just fighting zombies that get me de delayed and sidetracked of all the other things that I should be looking at in this mod. So if you have any ideas in the comments below, let me know. I'm looking forward to reading them. We also need actually some meat. So I need to attack the cow where possible and hopefully be able to run here and get up on this rock. There we go. Because the cows, they only take four or five arrows 
but they're very strong. There we go. So we definitely don't want to take the risk like that of being hit, but it died. Okay, so very good. I didn't know, they're very agile cows in this game. <laughs> well, we only got hit once, which is actually not too bad. So because we need meat, we need um, a lot more meat than we get at the moment. It would be good to make a hunting knife or something. I believe the book I was reading that I had confusions about in the last episode because I didn't read the title and I just read the book and then realized, oh, I don't know what it's about, was the um, butchering tool or something. So let me see here, butcher, a butchering book. Yes, it was, there you go. So butchering tool crafting, we need weapon crafting too. So there you go, so we can make a knife actually. So if we do weapon crafting, oh, nice. Crafting tier, 11 for melee weapons and bows. Oh, we can make better bows, that is awesome. So if we put the next point in here, oh, we have to level 10. So once we are in here, we can actually make that hunting knife um, that will then improve a lot on us getting meat, I believe. Unless we can find a machete or something, or we can actually find a hunting knife in the loot. That would be really, really awesome. Um, so let me see, can I make any of the scrap tools yet? So scrap iron fire axe, scrap iron pickaxe, nice. And we need more leather. Oh, we have actually more leather. Okay, craft. Okay. And then we need a little bit more. So let's see if we can find another cow. And then I make all the tools that we need. So the next thing is, because I don't want to really focus on horde, I'm going to pick actually all these up as well for now. Um, I don't want to really reinforce too much the trader and spend loads and loads of time and resources on, on building things. So what I would like to do is explore the area around here a little bit and see if we can find a nice area. If we preferably if we can find a town, that would be awesome. And then we can build that little uh, loot base where we just have safe walls. You know, we built the wedge walls just as a kind of a fence. And then the whole inside we can use just to hoard loot. That's really all it is about, yeah? And we use the trader then for Horde Knight, for the first Horde Knight. Um, it should be enough without reinforcing it. And then if we really just want to continuously go to the trader, unless our loot base is going to be enough for it, uh, to sit out a Horde Knight, we can put walls around the trader as well. We just have to make sure that the guards can still reach the zombies and shoot them in the face. So let's take all these guys here. Okay, these guys here, I think we have to destroy. There we go, nice. And I don't know, I don't think this looks tilt, but right here in the middle, I think we want to see if we can put the rain barrel. And as far as I remember, um, yeah, I actually completely forgot I used it before. Um, so as far as I remember, you want to put a two down because it generates water above itself. So if you put it on the top one, the water will flow everywhere around here. So let's take the rain barrel. Let's put it here and we're just going to leave it here. And that's it. So I don't think we can make any seeds right now from anything. Let me see. Goldenrod seed. Actually, we can make a goldenrod seed. So let's see if that works. And we can make a potato seed. Okay. So let's make a potato seed and let's see. Yeah, we can't plant it anywhere. Okay. And that is because this is not tilt so we either have to craft a hoe or we have to make a hoe so i wonder if he has a hoe and if we can maybe use his hoe that would probably be good if we can buy it so he doesn't have a hoe and we don't see any holes here, but we have a mini bike chassis. That looks very, very interesting. I like it. <laughs> yourself, stranger. All I right, there. Who break legs for coin. Okay. I don't know why you would tell me that you can hire people for... Oh, hello. We still have that in here. That you could hire people for coin. That just makes me feel very uncomfortable. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this guy here and we're going to replace the proper one. Oh, our skill in mining has increased, which is really, really nice. So what does it actually do again if our mining skill increases? Yes, we get more block damage over time. So there's just plus one block damage, plus one block damage, plus one harvest count with mining tools, caps at 100% at level 100. Very good. I like it. This is awesome. So level 100 is the max. You get an extra 100%. That is awesome. So over time, as you use it, you will start getting more resources. You will start getting uh, through them faster, which is awesome. But of course, minus 69, I can help along with that just fine. So let's see, what do we have? Yes, we actually have a lot of these things. So we should be able to make the forge, I think. Let me see. Forge. What do we need? Duct tape and iron. Everything else we actually have. 
Okay, how much duct tape? We have two duct tape, but we have glue and we have that. So I rob you a clue and we make duct tape. Whoop de do. There we go. Very good. I like it. And then we also need pipes. How do we do we have pipes? Excellent. We need three pipes. There we go. And now we should be able to make a forge. Look at that. Beautiful. We're crafting our first forge. Now that is what I call progress. That is amazing. And we're going to put it where the old one was. End of story. Put it right here. Now this here looks very unsafe. <laughs> the zombies could be coming right here. And I don't think there's any defenses up there, which is really, really bad. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Actually, does he have a hole? Let me see. Oh, there's actually a defense. Let me see. Ho, ho, ho. No, he doesn't have one, and there's no personal stash with him either way. Okay, fair enough. You don't have one. Let's see if the forge is ready. Oh, it is. Look at that. Beautiful. So we have a forge now, and we can start making forged iron, which is very, very good, because we need about 50 or so for the next couple of things we need to do. So let's put it right here. While we're on the way to our... Oh, look at that! Double bird's nest! Yes! Loads of touchies there. But while we're on our way to the burial thing, or to the treasure, buried treasure, um, one of the things that I just did was eat that uh, food we bought, which was, I think, the seafood or something. And you get a buff for 25 minutes, good quality food, which heals you actively and regenerates uh, health, which is amazing. I love that. And one of the other things we did, we put a mod that we found in the last episode on it. I didn't know that's what it was. I thought it was for armor, but it's actually a mod that gives 100% damage to living beings increased, which means things like the cow should go down very fast now. So we should definitely try that out. So let's see, it's 200. Boom. Look at that, that is amazing. Bam, three shots and it's down. It took four shots before that. Oh no! Look at that, no way! I know what this is. Oh no, it's not. Oh, baby cow, yes! Oh, sweet! I don't know why it's an icon of a letter, but it's a baby cow, a baby animal. These can be raised and bred. So now we have a baby wolf, we have a baby cow, we have Charlie and we have Betsy, and it's gonna be amazing. And it's actually, I just realized it's gonna be very dark, very quick, and we are out in the wild burying for treasure. Digging for burial, like, money. Now this is lucky. I literally just calculated the middle. I made sure I have jumping blocks around me so that if I get caught out and it goes night and they start running, I can jump on one of those. But look what we found right here, digging down, right in the middle of all this. And right there it is. Now we're probably gonna get a couple of runners. So we might want to actually do exactly this. Oh, they're not running, which is actually good. So we're gonna be able to take care of these guys. Actually, we might be just able to take care of them like this because there's no point. There's no need for anything extravagant seeing that they're not running. So that's actually really good. I like that. Oh, a bit close. There we go. Nice. Is that it? Oh, there's another one. She's a bit zigzaggy. I don't know what drugs she's on. There we go. Nice. All right, and we have some extra loot. So look, oh, nice, beautiful. We got some books to read. That is amazing. So we got the treasure. So let's go back to the trader and let's hand it in. Beautiful, I like it. Oh, look, guys, we already have water here. That is nice. So that means we can take empty jars as well. And look, what have we found? Oh, okay, this is actually more important. Okay, let's just relax here for a second. So we just got in one hall an absolute amazing stack of things. Look at this, we got the coffee seed recipe, which is amazing. We already know the golden rods, which is good because now we can scrap this. We could sell it for 168, but the key in this game, well, it's not mandatory, yeah? So when you start this game, let me just sidetrack for a moment, okay? Let's go back to 1694 when we started the pilgrimage. Anyway, what I mean is that this is worth 168. That's fine, yeah? But we have a lot of classes in this game. So we pick some classes, yeah? Now the classes, when you pick someone and other ones you kind of go, oh, what am I missing out here? Yeah, sure, you miss out on some things, but you're not really missing out because in the end you can get pretty much everything anyway over time a different way now some things i think are specifically locked behind them like for example you need to be a mechanic to make that super wrench i believe um you can't you can make a normal wrench still you just get it, the normal wrench i think earlier 
when you go into mechanic or scavenger or whatever it is, let's say mechanic, I think it's mechanic. So when you go into mechanic, you get, I think, access to um, certain tools quicker. Yeah, like look at this Christmas, you get bicycle mechanic, you, you actually can spend points in that and really quickly get it. Otherwise, it's locked, but you still can get this by finding the book. So you're not really missing out as such. Yeah, it just takes you with a little while longer. Now, however, some of the things like master mechanic, um, like to unlock the steel wrench, for example, I think the steel wrench you won't get unless you actually have the class. So there still is some benefit in uh, learning the classes afterwards. Yeah, so you need to be master. So anything you get from the master levels is still worth learning, you know, for optimizing, doing things certain bit faster maybe, or getting some cool item like the steel wrench. But overall, all the other stuff you kind of get along with it through recipes if, you, if you're lucky to find them. So Welcome that's for that go. reason, I think it's very important that we scrap that these things like when we have them because they give us three of those um, skill notes, which we need to make more books. Now, we can make generic skill books from just a few of them, 120, but we, we can make a blank class paper and then learn the other class if we want to along the way for this, which then unlocks the ability to spend 10 points on getting the master skill. Now, it needs a lot of those notes. That's why I think scrap them as early as possible. So if you have something already, scrap it, scrap it, scrap it. End of story. So reading the recipe will teach you how to craft this item. That is the seed for the mushrooms, I think. Yeah. So we're going to learn that. So that was the coffee seed. We have the coffee seed now. Now, the shroom seed is here. You can see it's still unlocked. It's still locked. So now it should be unlocked. Excellent. I really like that. And the best out of them all is that we actually found in the last episode tons of those sham chowders. But now we have two sham chowder recipes, which means one we can scrap and the other one we can read or read and scrap in that order. Looks like you found some rifle tips and tricks. Must be read from the hotbar, okay? A lot of things have to be read from the hotbar. That's why I just read all of it from the hotbar, just to be safe so I don't have to constantly worry about, oh, I have to do it from there. So your skill in rifle weapon is now level one, which is awesome. So if we look at rifle weapons, um, rifle weapons, we got a point in there, which is great. So that skill point, we could have probably scrapped it because using a rifle weapon levels it up anyway, but there's no harm in getting an extra 5% damage. I'm not gonna say no to that. That's perfectly fine with me. So, and then we of course have to hand everything in. This is really awesome. So I'm really, really like that we found the recipes. We got some black strap coffee, which is amazing. It gives you like a huge buff and stamina, Reagan. I say Reagan, uh, that's by accident. Reagan is the German word spelled exactly like that for rain. So regen is rain, I suppose in German because you get like a rain of something like the equivalent, whatever, you know, it's hard to explain, but we call it Regen, and um, that's why I sometimes say Regen instead of Regen, so you gotta apologize. I do a lot of things on purpose, like Stamina and all that, um, but uh, Regen and Regen, that's one of those things that just is a slip of the tongue more than anything else. So um, let's have a look and see what we got. Why did we not get anything? Well, you best do some book learning and oh, it's the novel. other guy that we have to hand it into. I was just about to say, like, that is weird that we didn't get uh, the option to hand it in. Anyway, loads of waffles, sorry. Sorry about all that, but um, sometimes I do feel like sharing. Well, more so than others. <laughs> so here's our friend. So let's see. Um, we already know how to do that. Splints, meh, gloves. That could be of benefit. So let's actually complete that. And let's see the gloves. What are we wearing in the moment? Yes, we're having the scrap gloves. So what I might actually do is leave these guys on because these guys have a little bit more effective resistance and all that, but they also have a much bigger movement penalty. So I might actually leave these guys in until I can counter um, act more on the movement penalty. Anyway, so let me just unload everything and then see if we can manage to somehow either find a hole or craft a hole and uh, plant some of those seeds because that would be really amazing. Now that we have a water source, we also can fill up the water. So we can take these 40 jars and fill them up if we want. And then that will just refill again. So where's the water hole? The watering hole is over here. So before we can plant anything, here we go. There you go. And it should fill up again in a little while because the, the barrel is still underneath it.
Oh, this is awesome. Now that we're level five, the bicycle chassis unlocked and now we can make forged iron. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, how many mechanical parts do we have? We need two, three, okay, one, three, four mechanical parts. Iron pipes we can make, I'm not too worried about. Springs, we need two, four. We need four springs. And we have the leather and the duct tape we can make. We can make glue. We have bones and liquid and water, so we can make glue. So that's all fine. But let me see here. We have only one duct tape. We only have three mechanical parts. Okay, we're going to have to go and smack up some cars and stuff because I think we get some items. Even if we don't have a wrench, we get some basic items, just not as much. So if we, for example, go for the light, if there's a light fixture here somewhere. No, there actually isn't. We can destroy the light fixture and... Um, get a little bit of a bonus from it, but I think we're just not getting everything. Is there no lights in the kitchen? Really? Not a single one? Oh, there's a light here. So let's see if we can actually take that. That would be really good. Yes, we got three. Okay, so but we need mechanical pads. Where do we get them from? If this is broken, we maybe can destroy that and get some pads. Oh, look at that. We get some forged iron actually from that. Yes, we get one. There we go. And we, oh, oh nice. We got a feather as well. Or spring, sorry. There we go. Another one. That is beautiful. Oh, yes. And another spring. Oh, yes. This is beautiful. So we should be able to make the bicycle now. So let me see if I can get all the ingredients together. Now for, um, we need bones. We need murky water, I believe. I'm not sure if we need murky or this, but let's see um, if I can make glue. There we go. Oh, glue here. We need, oh, we need a bowl of sap or murky water and bones. Yes, but we need a cocking pot and the cocking pot we can make here, I believe. So if we make the pot, Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Yes, beautiful. Okay, so let me make some murky water. Let me make some glue. Let me make some duct tape in turn. And from the glue and from um, cloth fragments and then see if we have all the resources we need to make ourselves a bicycle. We are not going to do the bicycle right now because we have limited resources, but we would have enough to make a bicycle. But because we're missing still one tire, one wheel. I know we can smack wheels to get them. We're still missing a wheel and we're still missing. Um, we, we have four mechanical parts, but what I was thinking is we should spend a point in workbench tools. That will unlock the wrench. So if we're going to go into here, we can now make a wrench from four mechanical parts and 24 forged iron. I had exactly, well, I have more, but I was able to make 24 forged iron and I have these four parts that I needed for the bicycle. So, but instead, what I think I want to do is I want to make the wrench from the items instead, and then I can use the wrench to get more resources. Ah, there we go. Some of the glue is already finished. I forgot to put some more resources in the fire there we go excellent turn that on and we already have three more duct tape we can make there we go so that should be now for duct tape there we go and one more to come i think yep yeah. and then we have one more in here so that's four and we're gonna make some more as a backup that's brilliant so we need two more springs we have the six here and what else do we need of course, the mechanical parts we get and the five forged iron as well as the we have the leather. How many leather do we need? That's not a lot. We need two for leather. We definitely have that. So here we go. Excellent. So we have that. All right. I think it's time to look for cars. How are we getting on with that ranch there outside? Let me see. Okay, still a few seconds left. Now, is there a car here already? There is a car. Ah, uh, no, there isn't. Okay, but first, we're gonna get the parts from this dude. Um, I think we only need four, isn't it? So let's only buy what we need in case we need more money. Then we're gonna head over here and we're going to make the handlebars and the chassis. That is everything done and dusted. Nice. So now all we need is another wheel because we're making these, we're making that. We have that one left. Oh, this is going to be amazing. Please let me find another tire. Okay, it's just morning now. 
we were able to sneak here into this complex. So I wondered if there was tires here I missed maybe, because this looks like a junkyard that potentially has tires. So I don't think there is any. Is there any around here? Okay, that's not a tire. We already looted this bag. Oh, there's a tire. Let's see if we get lucky. Okay, maybe we have to use the wrench. I don't know. I mean, we didn't have to use the wrench before, but maybe the wrench gives us a bigger chance. Okay, there's a tire here. Let's see if we can hit it with the wrench or if that won't make a difference. I don't think. I think we have to do it with the axe or something. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so no luck here. It might be a very slim to small to no chance, but there's cars over here. I don't know if wrenching cars actually will give us a tire, but there is more tires along the way. I mean, there is a tire, a lot of tires on the road. So one of them surely is going to give us an actual tire. Let's see what's in the back here. Oh, wow. Blunderbuss. Very nice. Now, Oh, yes, and we got a tire. That is amazing. Yes, we got the tire. We got a blunderbuss. Actually, the blunderbuss is not very effective, I think. It's very loud, but you know what? We're going to try it out anyway. <laughs> and it's like reloading after each shot, so that's actually not the best either. But in case we need more tires, let's actually get these boys here as well. And then we're going to wrench the cars. Then we're going to go back. We should be able to do our cycle bike. And uh, then we're happy days. Look at that. Nice. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Hello, Mr. Blunderbuss. <laughs> if anything, it made quite the splashiness. Oh, yes. Okay, so no, no. Nobody here to hear it anyway, I think. So that's okay then. Let's actually see what we're going to get from a car because we need resources like mental. Look at that. More springs. There we go. Featherinos and parts and gasolina and oil and. <laughs> oh, Chini Mac, that was the car. I thought something was actually just hitting us and just barely missing us. We get a lot of parts actually, really, really, really good. Because that is what we need. That is awesome. So we need, we don't need parts. Sorry, it's mechanical parts, not electrical parts. So mechanical parts is what we need. Electrical parts we get nearly from every single light source or whatever. So that's good. Oh, a battery, nice. It's actually nice to find a battery in a car like that. So we don't have an engine yet, but that's okay. We don't need one. So that means we have all the ingredients now to actually make a bicycle. Let's get the two tires. Oh yeah. And definitely eat another one of those sham shouters. Now that we have the recipe actually, what do we need to make one? Sham shouter, we need potatoes, ear of corn. We have potatoes, we have ear of corn, old ham sandwiches. This is an easy recipe, dude. Wow, okay, so corn and spuds. We're gonna get the seeds, dudes. We're gonna get the seeds. We're gonna make seeds. We're gonna do an amazing job of it. And we're gonna get a mortar and pestle and we're gonna farm the crap out of it. Okay, why am I here? I don't know. I have no idea. But let's see actually if everything's already crafted here. Yes and yes. And now we should be able to make this cycle bike. Yes. Ooh, a couple of seconds and then we're done. And here we go, here we go. We have our first mode of transport. Excellent. Let's just bring it out here. There we go, nice. Oh, that is so sweet, guys. We are ready to lock and load. Look at that rock and roll, baby. Nice. Oh, this is perfect way to finish this episode. Listen, guys, I'm going to leave it here. This was amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I will see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. See you guys next time. Until then, as always, viel Spaß and happy gaming.